Hey everybody and welcome back to Embered. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we are going to be going back to basics and talk a little bit about where to start off in Embered. Now one thing I want to tell you guys if you have Embered Basic that includes manager as well as the editor. So I'm going to spend a couple of days a couple of videos going over what you can do in manager and editor. So let's talk about manager first of all. Manager is where you can manage all of your embroidery designs. So if you're not a digitizer, you won't have the studio plugin. The studio plugin is for digitizing only. So if you're not a digitizer, you can still take advantage of Ember. It actually does a lot of stuff. You will be very surprised. You can manage, you can see all of your designs and you can do so much in manager. So I have one design selected and I'm going to show you guys what you can do with the designs. Now you can select where you're going is the first thing. So wherever you are saving your designs, that's where you can direct it to go. And it's a drop down list. I have a whole bunch. Yours won't look like this, but I have a whole bunch. So it depends on where you're storing them. And you can see the tree here. This is called a tree. You can see where you are. So you don't get lost. Now you can sort them as well as you're going through stuff. So if you download something and it has a whole bunch of different formats to it and you only want to see your format, you can just click on this and look what happened. It sorted everything out. So now all I'm seeing is DST because that is what I asked of Embered and that's what it's doing. So you can sort through all of them and if now the other thing you can do is sort them differently. So by date, by size and alphabetically by name. I find this one is the most handy for that. So there's all different look at all of these filters. It's called a filter so it'll sort it through you if you want to see all of your zip files, it's right there. So I have a few selected that I use or that are automatically selected. It's probably the default for me, but that's how you can, and you can even manage that. You can remove all and pick the ones that you want. So that's super handy for viewing everything. Now, what if you want to see more? You don't, you don't want to see just one design. I want to see more. Well, you go over here and there are tons of tools you may not have noticed. So let's go over them. Them. Print design snapshot, super handy, one click, print it. Print color layers, which I think is really cool as well. It's going to print out each layer separately. This one is print your thread list, also super handy to have if you're doing a complicated design. You can just print it out and have what you want. This one is view thumbnails, so let's click that one. And this is what it shows you. And I love this. It shows you everything. So each one of these files is shown for you. And I think that's fantastic. So if you want to see, if you're looking for a design, that is how to do it. I think that's fantastic. What's next? View dense thumbnails. So there's more. And these are all of my DST ones. Remember, I filtered for DST. And if there was more, it would keep going and you would be able to scroll down. So that should help you guys be able to see the designs that you want or if you're looking for some. I think it's great fun to sit and scroll through designs. And with this, you can actually see them quite clearly. You can see all the detail work in that one. It's fantastic. And this one is view very dense design. So it's just making it smaller. Again, if you had more, it would be all showing here, but it really does give you a great idea of every design file that you have and you can see it. So if you're searching for something and you don't feel like going through all the names, you can just look at icons. How's that for fantastic? A really good time saver. View file is a good one. View color layers. So if you want to see the, so to view the color layers, now you, there's also a list of everything in that folder. There's a list of everything down the side here. So if you want to see one, you double click on it, double click, two clicks. There you go. I love that one, by the way. And now you can view color layers. And what you get to do is pick your thread catalog. So if you were using Admelody, 
um, or let's find another one, Floriani. I use a lot of Floriani. You can just click OK and there is your color layers. And that is a great way to see each step. Then you can go ahead and print it. So if it's a really complicated design, this is gonna help. And it tells you the everything that you need to know about it, the name of the color and everything. I think it's absolutely fantastic. This one is view thread list. So click on that, that is your thread list. And I think that's fantastic as well. Super handy and it matches it up and I love it. So this is a real time saver and it's a really handy tool for everybody using embroidery designs. So let's cancel that. We still have the same design up. So you can view dense thumb thumbnails. Now I have one selected, so it's only gonna show one and very dense thumbnails. So it's just going to make it smaller for you. Now, again, I have just one selected, so that's why it's only showing up one. Now, if you click the star here, it's going to, you have a selection. If you wanna go back and see everything that you have, just in case you have a different format that you didn't see all supported files is this little star and if you add in a shift key it's all files a shift a control key it's all embroidery files and alt is all image files and yes you can see images in embered manager as well but we will do that on the next video so thanks everyone for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video so you can see your icons and save yourself some time searching for those wonderful designs thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video